Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Erica and I'm a homeschooling homemaking mama of five for those of you that are new and for those of you that are not, welcome back. This is a picture from my porch that I love. My, um, I think that's a cherry tree or I can't remember what it's called anyway. It was just a really pretty view. It was dusk when I filmed this. I wasn't going to put it as a clean with me at night because it wasn't quite dark yet. I felt like that was a little misleading. <laughs> I know that's silly, but that's something I noticed too. So anyway, um, I have been working, well I had been because I guess it's no longer the weekend when this is out, but I spent the majority of the weekend working on my bathroom and of course with any project, you know, the rest of the house gets messy and I say of course like I knew this and honestly I forgot this when I started working on my bedroom last time. So I wanted to try and get ahead of that and I'm really trying to learn boundaries with my house specifically and I know that might sound a little weird but like I get into something and I don't know when to stop and I push myself further than I should instead of you know just realizing that hey Erica you know you need to stop you're not gonna do your best work so just wait you know and finish tomorrow and fortunately at this point like I decided on a stopping point in my bathroom and when I did, I went ahead and started cleaning up in there and I came in here to the kitchen. I was like, all right, well, let's get this cluttered up because you know you're not gonna wanna get started in the morning on the bathroom if the kitchen's all messy. So anyway, um, last time I cleaned this, y'all heard me complain about my power wash and fortunately I remembered not to use it again. That Dawn power wash is, it just takes forever to clean. So I used to not really like this barkeeper's friend either, but I found I was using way too much on it. But here, obviously I used way too little, so I don't know. I'll have to eventually find something. I like the pink stuff really well on it, but I think that's just more for shining and not necessarily disinfecting. Yes, those are uh, light globes in there. I pulled them off of my, um, I was redoing my light fixture in my bathroom and they needed cleaned like something terrible and y'all will see that in my video it should be on Saturday for the bathroom makeover I am really having a difficult time with my kitchen lately y'all I have I've been busy and I've been trying to be more productive but you know, it's like you can never have anything good without there being some some slight downfall. And I'm in a much better place, like as far as being happier. And um, this, you know, this medicine has been just a big game changer for me, as far as just being a little bit more organized and more focused. So for those of you that don't know, I was just recently diagnosed with ADHD, and um, so that's that's what's going on. But I've noticed that. I am still productive in one area and then another area will will suffer and it's been my kitchen recently and I just uh, I'm kind of at I wonder if maybe I'm not just seeing things more clearly there's there's seven of us in this house I'm trying to word this, this carefully there's seven of us in the house um, and my children are all with the exception of my five-year-old are all old enough that well they're you know they're at that age of accountability where I really struggle between between finding what is too much responsibility and what's not enough. Like I don't want my kids to be cleaning the whole house and expecting them to do stuff that you know my husband and I should do. But on the same hand, I also they live in this house and they need to learn how to take care of things and to be respectful and to help out. And I'm just really I think I've said really struggling like four times, but I really am. I'm really struggling with trying to find that happy balance there, you know, that good balance where they're being productive members of the household at the same time they're not missing out on their childhood if, you know y'all know what i mean like you see here with joe joe's gotten into bringing all his toys out into the living room and when it was time to clean him up at night i did have him come in here i did help him but i wanted to make sure that he cleaned up his toys and put them away which is something i didn't really do with my other kids so you know this is something I'm working on. He will not go into his room. I have finally asked my husband for help and that will be a video that's coming up soon as well. I don't know what I'm doing wrong in there, y'all. It's it's a disaster again. This would be my fourth or fifth video um, coming up that with his room. And it's, it's just, 
I don't know what's going on. So I don't know if maybe I need some tough love. I need my husband to come in there and be like, Erica, he doesn't need this. Or you need to get this out of here or what. Or maybe I actually really just need to suck it up and do a KonMari, you know, of his stuff. But I don't know. That seems kind of weird doing it with somebody else's stuff, especially a five-year-old. And truth be told, he doesn't need all this stuff. So I don't know. Any any advice, y'all, on a system? I, I need some help with it. And I am open to just about anything at this point with this room. Joe was doing really well to sleep in his bed and then uh, something happened and he ended up back on the couch and then he'll end up in our room in the middle of the night and then he start now he's just been he won't even sleep in his bed like it's just not even an option for him he doesn't want to and I guess maybe my husband and I just need to make him but I don't I don't know y'all apparently I don't know a lot of stuff because that's that word seems to be coming out of my mouth and this was just, uh, but we'll just skip to the cleaning and I'll just narrate what I'm going on, what's going on here. Um, this was stuff from my bathroom that I had brought in and I was trying to organize it. And that is my blue chair that is back in the bathroom now. I've got everything back in place. I tell you what, y'all, since I've redone my uh, bedroom and there's nothing in here, it is so much easier to clean. And I want to keep it clean. Like, I'm not even stressed about it. Like, I just, I want the room to be clean at all times. And there's nothing in here, like on the floor and stuff. So it just makes it that much easier. Again, like, I love all the stuff on the walls, but I don't want stuff on the floor. Like, I can't have, you know, surfaces. And y'all, you can see a little bit of a sneak peek of the bathroom. But anyway, I was, you know, painting in there. And I wanted to make sure my, my mess was all cleaned up so we could be, you know, use the bathroom and stuff in the morning. And I'm just trying to be better and clean as I go along so it's not that much of a struggle when I'm finally done and you know you get to do all the fun stuff like redecorating and all that. I had hung two of my pictures this evening, this evening that I filmed it. Oh my god, mm, I was so upset. I use those little sticky scotch ones, little things that you, they're, I don't know, you don't put nails or anything, they're just stickers and then they have like a velcro part and I hung two of my puzzle paintings up and y'all see those. Um, when, in the next video, but um, they both fell off the wall. I don't know if I did something wrong. I don't know if the wall was like freshly painted, but it broke, both, both my frames broke. So I had to go buy new ones today, but it really irked me because those little scotch hanger things were real, fairly expensive for that type of stuff. I think I paid like 10 bucks for the box of the hangers and then another $8 for the little sticky pad things that you put on them. I wish I could think of the name, what they are. But here is just a little view of stuff we did this weekend. We went on a hike and then Joe had T-ball. Hey y'all, thanks for watching my video. I'm sorry it was such a short one. I was trying to film um, cleaning up and stuff as I went along, but filming my bathroom makeover took, um, I'm not gonna say it took a lot longer than what I thought. I, I figured it's actually going a lot quicker than I thought, but I didn't really have any time to film another cleaning video, but I was really trying to make sure that I didn't let the rest of the house fall apart. And I know it was only like today Sunday, and I started it Friday. So I wanted to um, I wanted to make sure the house didn't get too far behind while I was doing the bathroom makeover. So I stopped and, you know, showed you guys what I was doing while, you know, just a quick cleanup. My house is really messy right now. Uh, so hopefully I can clean it tomorrow, do a real thorough job. Y'all got a little pimple there, so I look like Rudolph right now. But um, I can finish up the rest of my bathroom on Monday. I am really super excited to show y'all. It um, it really went just about what I expected. These walls in here, this one specifically, was kind of a pain, but we're gonna have to eventually replace it. So I wasn't too worried. I got to experiment with some stuff. I actually really enjoy sanding like down the um, holes, like when you fill them in with spackle and stuff or drywall mud. I really didn't think I would. I actually didn't think I could stand that sound. I hate, hate, 
and I know, like I always say hate's a strong word, but I do. I legitimately hate styrofoam. I hate anything that sounds like styrofoam. I hate emery boards. I can't even file my nails with one. Like the, there's something about that sound that just, uh, it makes me feel like I'm a crazy person. Like I'm a legit crazy person when I hear it. And I know that that's dramatic, but it really is. It is a dramatic feeling for me. And I wish I knew what the deal was, um, but it drives me nuts. But the sanding, nope, it didn't bother me at all. Um, I, like I said, I really enjoyed it and it, was, it went real quick and it was like a real neat, um, quick transformation. Um, I also have a problem back here. As y'all can see, there was a piece of drywall that went this direction that kind of slid into here when this was a shower. Um, and then when we took the drywall out, it ripped the wallpaper off of the um, trailer wall. And I know, I realize after I've gone over my videos, I have said trailer wall and I've explained trailer walls, what they are at least twice in almost every video. But I guess it's because I've been doing a lot of painting. But it ripped that wallpaper off, that vinyl, whatever it is that you're supposed to paint over. And underneath it is just pretty much cardboard. I don't, I need to look up, I think it's gypsum maybe. Is that what they're made out of? Or is that what drywall is made out of? I don't know, I probably sound stupid y'all, but um, anyway, so I just painted over it because we are eventually going to replace this with drywall, uh, but just not right now. So it was just a priority to get this. And as y'all can see, it's painted. You can't really see what the color is, um, but uh, I, I will have a full video. I should have it up by Saturday. I can't see it not being up by Saturday unless there's something when I get to these other walls that's gonna, you know, take a lot of time. I ordered my chandelier for in here. I want to say chandelier, y'all. It's not fancy, anything like that. It's, um, it's this really, really pretty gypsy looking, um, chandelier and there aren't any plugs over here, which I guess would make sense because this was originally a shower, but there aren't any plugs on this side at all. So I needed something that, um, I could run into across from here where the, um, bathroom sink is and plug it in over there. But I was like, I don't want an extension cord running across but this chandelier it hooks up into the ceiling and then it you know it has a chain that goes across and then you can put it down and I can do some kind of neat little vine work or something with it but um I did need some kind of a light over here um I really don't know what else to to say my mind's a little frazzled still doing the 75 card we are on day eight today and I am feeling a lot better I am definitely not as tired I, so I, I think I finally got over that, that, you know, getting used to it. Um, I'm not aching. Watch me wake up tomorrow, y'all, and I'll be in pain. But, um, yeah, it's going really well. Um, I am finding myself extremely irritated today, but I think I have a lot on my mind. We're having some issues with oh, my kids. Not anything bad. Just not listening and making messes and stuff. And I don't know, y'all. Pray for me because it's... That's one of those times I got teenagers. I got four teenagers and, well, three teenagers and one soon to be a teenager and a five-year-old that acts like a teenager. Um, so y'all that have teenagers, how did y'all do it? How'd you make it through? I don't know. I need some tips. But um, anyway, I will have a video out, of course, uh, my, new, my normal schedule. I don't even know why I put that in there like, like I wouldn't. Um, and yeah, I guess that, that's it. I hope wherever y'all are at, you are having a blessed one, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Look here, I am done, I am done, I am done. I am done. Oh, 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 oh,